what's going on youtube ali dope checking in once again with a new tutorial it's halloween so i figured we should do a vintage horror cover art follow me as we create magic first you want to go grab your very angry animal something that's gonna catch somebody's attention um teeth are usually the best thing for these type of covers or like horror i believe i was inspired by the the dogs cover art or poster you might have seen it if you google dogs horror movie so we're just sizing it up trying to okay you want to create a new layer and fill it with gray then you want to go up to the top and go to filter add noise there you go and then you just want to play with the settings and create a clipping mask so it's only over that one image. And you can play with them. You can do color burn, hard light, soft light, overlay. And then we're going to create a gradient map to give it a nice black and white feeling. And we're going to create another clipping mask. Right, then you want to play with the blending mode and use color then you can just go ahead and play with the opacity bit so it's not so strong all right so we're gonna create a new layer new hue and saturation just play with it it all depends on what you want i'm using a wolf so i'm gonna use like a reddish color but if you're doing like a monster it could be a greenish it could be a blue color but red is mostly um, identified with horror movies. All right, you're gonna create another gradient map over top of it, and this is what's gonna give it its real popping color. You could pick any colors that match with your theme. Like I said, again, red is kind of my theme. So I'm going with a nice um, red, in the face area uh, and then I'm gonna go with a light blue and the highlights just so it can have some contrast You want to go ahead and create a blending mode for that. I'm going to use darken and I'm going to bring down the opacity a bit so it's not so dark. You can go ahead and create a color balance layer. And this is where you could just, once again, play with the colors just a tad bit more in case you didn't really get that color that you really wanted. play around with it then you just bring down the opacity a bit so it's not so strong now I want to add something to the eye it just looks so plain so I think I'm gonna add like a nice red glowing eye so it looks evil so all you got to do is take the ellipse tool go right over the eye Create that shape of the eye. Just like that. Alright. Get it right so it fits the eye. We're going to change the color of the eye to like a nice red color. Then you got to rasterize this so then you can give it that nice blur edgy. So you're going to go to blur. I'm gonna add a nice little gauge and burr. It's always depending on what you want. I try to keep some of the eye there, but for the most part, I try to blow it out. That's cool. So we're gonna do from there. Add a nice inside glow to it. Some more like lighter red color. This is not necessity, but it's just me being extra. 
Okay, cool. Now you want to add the actual blending mode on the actual layer. I'm going to go with linear dodge. Just because it gives a nice glow. No specific reason. You can do what fits yours. Now I'm just doing some final touches. Just with the color on the overall image. It's always ongoing. I never just pick one color off the rip. So see now the red with the red starting to give that nice contrast with the black and the nice light blue. Okay, so now we're gonna add like a little motion blur to the wolf. So you gotta duplicate this layer. You're gonna just bring it up to the top because they're eventually gonna change the blending mode. Now I just wanna play with the colors a little bit because I do want the highlights and the shadows to be a little bit darker since it's going to be a motion blur so you can be able to pick that up when you set the blending mode later on all right after you get it right you're gonna go up to the top and you're gonna blur motion blur so it looks like he was running or barking previously and you can pick any pixel size or direction that you want once again it all depends on your image so after you get the right settings, you're just gonna hit it with a nice like screen or lighten, depends on your image. For me, I'm gonna go with a nice screen and bring the opacity down so it's not so strong. But you see just enough. There go. So then you just wanna move it down a little bit just so it's like an offset of the image. So it's not just like a, a blur directly on the image. It's like an offset because if it was an old vintage photo it'd be a little bit off then you want to group everything together and then you're going to take all those settings that you just made and you're going to create a clipping mask to the group of the pictures of the main photo and the motion blur Okay, so now after you have that group, you're gonna create another group with all of the pictures in it. And then we're gonna add a nice little gradient over top of it, just so the image fades into the back, which is gonna be a nice like black fade. And make sure you use a transparent back because if you don't, then you're gonna get a black and white solid gradient and you won't be able to see your image. Okay, on to the, some of the final touches, which is the text or the title. So I'm just gonna use a nice um, tall serif font that I feel like matches the theme. Wolves, so I feel like the S, I really like it. I really like the W. So we're gonna add a nice little arc on there. I think we're gonna use arc, mm, let's try it. Nah. Okay, arc upper. Then you can play with the bend a little bit. I kind of like how that works. Okay. All right. So from there, we're going to go and start playing with the layer style. Of course, you can always slow this video down to 1.5 in the settings on YouTube so you can get the actual numbers that I use for each setting. Now, if you guys want me to put this textile for maybe $2, comment below. We need this textile. But either way, we're going to add a nice little gradient to it. Nice little dark gray to light gray. Okay. Play with this a little bit. Alrighty. You're gonna add a nice little bevel on there. See how it's already popping? We could just leave it like that because the gray and all that good stuff. All right, like I said, you guys can slow this video down so you can get those settings. Press OK. Then what you're gonna do is create a group from that and then put the text in the group and then make a new layer style with the group. So double click on the group folder, blending options. There you go. Add another bevel, and once again, you can slow this video down so you can see the settings. All right, now you're gonna add a nice 
nice little bevel and emboss to this. This is just going to give it its real look. All right. Look at the couture that I'm using. Because mm -hmm. that really makes a difference as well. The depth, the size. There you go. Add a little inner glow to this as well. And as you can see, it's starting to come together. Look at that. And you're going to add a gradient for the inner glow, not a solid. Some people get confused. You literally have to click the dot right next to solid. Go play with the blending mode just a little bit, just so I got that pop at the top of my wolves. So now we're going to add another outer glow to give it that little pop on the outside. We're going to add a little uh, noise to it so you can do the dissolve blending mode. There you go. I'm just touching up right now, fixing some things. And you can do the same for yours. There you go. It's looking good right there. All right. I'm, I'm liking these settings right here. So I think we're going to be good with that. You could rename your title just so you can see it and have it. And then I want to do a little bit extra just because it's supposed to be like a movie cover art. I think I'm going to add a little bit more text um, just to say something cool. So it gives it that nice like subtitle movie type of feeling. You have to be a wolf to catch a wolf. I think that's from Training Day. Denzel Washington said that. You have to be a wolf to catch a wolf. Uh, and I'm going to use yellow only because yellow was uh, a contrast of a red color. There you go. And I'm using steel tongs for this font. Now I'm going to current it a little bit because right now it's like at negative 10. I just want to give it a little space. And I'm going to place that right underneath my main title, because that's usually where we go. Or you could have put it on top. I mean, it all depends. Size it right, so it's like at the end of that W, beginning of that E right there. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. All right, so we're going to start adding some of these final touches. I'm going to add a nice restricted sign, because in case it's like a movie cover, poster art, it gives it that nice little feeling. You're just gonna screen that. You can grab that from off the internet and then go ahead and filter. We're just gonna add a nice little Gaussian blur to this just so it gives it that nice vintage old look. There you go. Once again, it just depends on your pixels. You can do anything that you choose. Okay. All right, then we're gonna just size that a bit, put it in the corner. All right, some more finishing touches. It wouldn't be a vintage cover without a vintage texture. <laughs> nice vintage texture. You just type in VHS texture on Google, or you can go ahead and buy you a pack from somewhere. I have some free packs available to have a few um, grunge textures. Not this specific one, but you can just Google and find this one. And we're gonna go ahead and, yeah, see, screen. Nice little lighting. It gives it that border. It's looking vintage already. It's looking mad old. So, yes, yeah, sir. Let's finalize that up. Let's make that a little bit smaller so it can fit. Move that over a bit. All right. So it wouldn't be that without adding some nice little curves to give it that faded film look. You just got to take the curves and. Uh, lift up the shadows a bit and whatever feels right with you it's perfectly fine i love this look i'm loving it already gonna add a nice little paper texture to it there you go once again you could just type in vintage grunge paper texture and we're gonna make this uh, a little bit lighter not so strong Maybe a yellowish color to match the border that we already have. So everything's in sync and balanced. 
and go ahead and put that above everything and play with that blending mode one more time once again it's up to you i'm kind of liking these i'm liking that yellow look see how the yellow brings out that vintage look and ties it all together you just got to go through them and find the one that fits your style it's gonna bring that opacity down just a little bit so it's not so strong but you see how the yellow and the blue it kind of like contrast off each other and then we're gonna add a nice little layer mask to that to clean up some of the text because i want to be able to see the title a little bit more it's just a little bit too dark so we're just gonna clean that up and then we're gonna add another layer mask on top of the curves to bring the color back a little bit into the title and i think we're about finished like don't want to do too much it's a pretty simple pretty quick cover and that's it man so i would love to see what you guys came up with you guys so please dm me on instagram comment below and let me know what you think let me know what you want to see i hope this helped you guys halloween's right around the corner go outside take some pictures of your dog and make some cool stuff for him all right till next time i'll holla